Friday night. I have a full face of makeup on. A little bit too much blush, but it looks great. And I'm in, I'm in for a wild night. <laughs> Today's gonna be fucking crazy. Oh my God. You're not gonna believe what I'm doing. I'm gonna get wing stop. With who you might ask? Myself. Myself and you. We're gonna eat together. So go get some food. Pause the video. Go get some food and come back when you've gotten your food, okay? And we'll eat together. But first, we gotta pick up our food. So let's go do that. We got our wings. I am so excited. I hope you guys got your food as well. Let's start off by showing you some of the food. I got fries, seasoned Cajun fries. I got blue cheese. Are you a blue cheese girly or a ranch girly? Sound off in the comments below. And then I got somebody outside staring at me. And I got uh, 10 wings, five mango habanero, and five honey garlic. Honey garlic is a Canadian flavor. I don't know if you guys have it in the States, but it says that it's like Canadian made or some shit. So I don't think you guys have it, unfortunately. Sorry. It's really good though. Okay. I don't think I've ever eaten wings on camera. This is new territory for me. Let me turn my car on. It's a little chilly dilly. Mm, I love blue cheese. So how is everyone doing? Oh, we also have water here. So how is everyone doing? <clears throat> because me, I've finally been doing better like I don't know if you guys know I've talked about it a bit like I was in like a rut of sorts I decided to do vlogmas to kind of get myself back into the swing of content creation because I've been like falling the fuck off which hasn't felt good also do you guys like put your blue cheese and dips on by using a fry because I do it's just easier than dipping well let me take a first bite and then we'll keep talking mmm Mm-hmm. I haven't had a mukbang in here in so long. Oh my God. I used to be such a YouTuber. Like, I used to be such a YouTuber. I would do challenges. I would do, um, I would do mukbangs, vlogs, doing my boyfriend's makeup, da 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 da. Like, everything. Vlogmas, everything. And then I just experienced that, like, creative burnout that all YouTubers feel. And then I just changed my content so much. But like, challenge YouTube and like, all that stuff is so fun. It just doesn't really do numbers unless you're already famous, you know what I mean? I used to do so many get ready with me's, but those are hard for me because I do my makeup so fast. <laughs> By the time I'm like in the middle of a story, I'm done my makeup, you know what I mean? It's raining, by the way. Can you guys hear that? Mm. So as you guys know, I live in Toronto, but I am actually from the suburbs, like 20 minutes outside of like downtown Toronto. So I'm from like a city, like it's on the outskirts. And now that I've been living downtown in the middle of everything for a while, I'm kind of missing suburban life. Like, I feel like I'm such a city girl. Not like a city girl, eh. More like a, a city girl, like I love the city. And I do believe that to be true, but I don't know, I'm getting a little tired. Like, I don't know, like lately I'm just like, I kind of miss that slower lifestyle. I miss going somewhere, not always seem fun, no. I miss not having to line up for things. I miss being able to get anywhere with a car. Now it's like you gotta think ahead for transit. It's nice to be able to walk places. But like, I don't know. I'm trying to eat my wings all like dainty and cute because I'm on camera. It's really like taken away from the experience of eating wings. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Let's talk about Hinge. 
Anybody else on Hinge? Because I am. And, um, ooh, it is rough out here. Dating in Toronto, being on Hinge. Oh uh, my God. It is so tough. Like, sorry, I don't want to use words like that. I kind of want to manifest it being tough. But, oh my God, is it tough. Like, wow. I'll be having these great conversations and I'm so excited to meet these people. I'm just waiting for them to ask me out. Conversation dies. Try to make plans, falls through. I ghost, they ghost. It's like, I feel like there are these connections that have so much potential, but they don't go anywhere because we never get to meet in person. I went on two hinge dates. The first one was with this fine ass French man. Oh my God. He was um, Haitian, but like from France. Harris to be specific. Mm. Mm. That man was fine. I don't know what happened to him. He was one of those guys that like, he's so good looking that you could tell that he doesn't have to try hard to get women. Um, so if I didn't hit him up or ask him to hang out, he wouldn't go for it. And I initiated the first plans that we made. So I was waiting for him to initiate the second ones. And he seemed so happy on the date. Like, oh, we're definitely gonna see each other again. Blah, blah, blah. But I think he was waiting for me to hit him up and I didn't. So he never did it. So I never saw each other again. But it was such a cool connection. Like, honestly, I wouldn't date the man. I definitely wouldn't date the man. But he was cool. He was fun. He was so attractive. He had a thick ass Parisian accent. Mm. When well, that got away. He was beautiful. He's been in Canada for like, I don't know, but since April. So the accent was thick gums. Then the second day was with this guy who is, what is his name? Wait, I'm not gonna tell you his name. <laughs> um. He was mm, perfection. This guy, I would date. I mean, I don't know him. But based off of what I was getting, I would date him. He had his shit together. He was so handsome, emotionally intelligent, been in therapy for a couple years. Just like, I was learning from him on the date. I was like, I can walk away from this date learning something? Wow, a man, and he was such a gentleman. He was so sweet, but the problem, the man is from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm from Toronto. I don't do long distance, so couldn't really pursue it further. He was visiting. He said he might move to Toronto. Oh my God, I just dropped my wife. He said he might move to Toronto in May. So I was like, hit me up if you move here. Will he? I don't know. But I mean, what's the point in keeping in touch if he's from Philadelphia? Those are the only two dates that I've been on. And I've been on Hinge for a minute and I don't go on dates. I don't know why. People don't ask me. Like, it's so weird and the conversations are good. Like, I know when I'm having a boring conversation. I know it, trust me, I can tell the difference. And some of these conversations are really good. But they just keep asking me all these questions and talking to me over the app or through text and I'm waiting for them to ask me out. And I'm like, what are we gonna talk about on our first date? We've talked about everything already. I can't ask you what you do. I can't ask you about your family. I can't ask you anything because I already know everything through fucking texting. So I'm wondering why it takes these men so long to ask women out. It's so, it's so stupid. <laughs> it's actually very annoying. And it's like, I'm so open and I'm enjoying Hinge to be honest, it's fun. I mean like the date, but I wanna meet these people. I wanna meet them, what the fuck? America, if you guys get honey garlic, try it. It's fire, it's so good. Dating. It's interesting. Like, I hope to God the person I end up like dating seriously next is my future husband. Because dating is tough, man. Like, and I'm not even dating to marry right now. That's the thing. I'm just casually dating. Like, I'm enjoying going on dates. I'm not really looking for my husband. If they present themselves to me and I find someone that I see potential in, oh, I definitely would love to be with that person. But I'm not actually looking for a husband right now. I just want to have fun. I'm like, why is that so hard? <laughs> I'm not ugly. And I have a nice personality, so like, what's going on? Anybody else have that struggle? It's very confusing. Anyways, do you guys want to see my profile? <laughs> I'll show you. So, basically, I had a Hinge profile, and it was not doing well. I don't know. I think it just wasn't appealing to the male gaze or whatever 
Um, so I had a male friend actually help me make my profile and <laughs> help me, he made the whole thing. I didn't, I didn't do it. It's, I did not write this shit. But anyways, this is my profile. Um, I did not select the pictures and I did not write the captions. They are true to me, but I probably wouldn't have typed them like that. But like, I probably say these things in real life. So I don't feel like it's like fraudulent. It's so funny because men love it so much. Like I was doing like mm, three likes a day maybe. And now I'm doing like 25 likes a day. And mind you, my preferences are very small. Like I have a three year age window or something. And then it's set to only black men. So my preferences are very narrowed down. I can only imagine if my preferences were completely open, the amount of matches I would be getting. Oh my God, I might open it up. I feel like I should, you know, I think it's time. These wings are so good. I just hate that everybody that walks by is looking at me because my windows are pretty clear. My windshield, my lights are on and there's a camera on me. So they keep staring at me eating my wings, which is making me feel very strange. But I don't have my glasses on. So I can't really make eye contact or see them that well, so that's kind of helping me. Hmm. Anyways, what's your experience like with dating apps? Can someone tell me a story? Something funny? Or like, anybody else having the problem that I'm having? Where it's like, you're not getting dates? You're just like, getting a bunch of pen pals? Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with texting? I don't even like texting. I actually hate texting. I'm so bad at it. That's part of the problem. We were texting for so long that eventually I'm just like, eh, I can't do this anymore. And I stopped responding. Honestly, I remember when Wingstop wasn't in Canada, which was last year, by the way. They literally opened like May of this year, the first location. And um, I thought, oh my God, Wingstop looks delicious. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. But like, it's really not that special. It's just wings. Like they're not like, they're like Hooters wings. I do love Hooters wings, but they're not like that special. But they are good. I mean, I am enjoying myself, that's for sure. Anyways, if you guys didn't notice, I'm doing Vlogmas. I never did like an introductory video. I just started posting content. I'm gonna do an introductory video. <laughs> Maybe on like day six or something. But yeah, I'm doing Vlogmas. I'm like, I don't know, I'm hoping I can commit to it. I don't know if I've ever done a full like day one to 24 of Vlogmas without skipping a day. I remember one time I was close. I mean, my ex and I broke up and then I couldn't continue. <laughs> So, I think I made it to like day 16, day 15. And then I was like, mm-mm, this is not it. And then, um, no, maybe like day 17, day 18. Because I remember posting while I was depressed. So, yeah. That's the closest I ever made it. Other than that, never seen it through. I can't believe moms make Vlogmas happen. Like, they really do it, huh? Oh, did you guys know that I have a new roommate? I might have mentioned it casually, but I don't think I've ever like really talked about it. I guess because there's no like drama, you know, like there's not much to say when things are easy. Uh, yeah. So I have a new roommate and I found her on TikTok. We found each other on TikTok. Basically, I put up a TikTok that was like, you're here from Toronto and you're looking for a roommate, then keep on watching. So basically, she hit me up. She sent me a lovely message. And I was like, huh, we sound very compatible. During this whole process, I was taking phone call interviews, Skype interviews, meeting people face to face, chatting with everybody about this space, trying to rent out the room. And um, when I saw her message, I knew. Something told me, this is my girl, it's the one. But I still went through the whole process with everybody. And, um, Somehow it just worked out, you know? We just ended up vibing. Turns out she'd actually watched this channel before. I think she said she was subscribed, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and uh, yeah, so we just like it instantly had a lot in common. And so she moved in. And so far so good. I mean, it's been a month, literally. Been exactly a month. And so far, no issues. 
so far <clears throat> I feel like it's working out really well I hope she would say the same <laughs> and um yeah like so weird how it happened like TikTok is so crazy like who would have thought TikTok would be what would find me my roommate but it worked in case you're wondering Brenda and I are more than okay um she's just been with her boyfriend now for five years so it was time for them to move in together so that's what they did and they're living together and they have been now for a month and um yeah so crazy like how things can change so much this time last year like everything was so different oh i also started a new business it's called pop swipe if you're a real one and you want to support me go follow it on instagram and go like all our posts popswipe.ca is our instagram it's also our url if you want to scroll through and see if you like anything <laughs> Oh my god, everyone's staring at me eating wings. This is so embarrassing. I hate this so much. <clears throat> like, why are you watching me? Let me eat my wings in peace. <laughs> wow, being vegetarian really means you can't have wings, huh? That's so sad. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry you don't experience this. I'm really sorry. I know I said their wings were mediocre, but like, I'm still very sorry. Anyways, guys, I'm on my last wing. I'm getting full perfect timing because I love when I can finish my food on the spot I mean I love having leftovers but wing stops the kind of thing that's best fresh so like when I can finish on the spot it makes me so happy it's like I really got to enjoy it you know what I mean but um <clears throat> fun fact before I go so you're probably wondering if she doesn't like wing stop that much if she's like thinks it's okay why does she go to wing stop I know I'm going to the same thing. I'll tell you why. Basically, when Wingstop came to Canada, they did an opening launch thing. And on the opening launch, they said the first 100 customers get free Wingstop for a year. And guess who was one of the first 100 customers? <clears throat> Me. So, I got this little handy dandy little coupon book, which I will show you if my hands were so dirty. And uh, I'm there. There's coupons for a year's worth of free wing stop. <laughs> oh, man. So, I get free wings. Free wings, though, not, not free fries. I'm gonna pay for the fries. So, um, yeah. Every time I go to Wingstop, I don't pay. I mean, so that's why I go to Wingstop, and that's why it tastes good. I enjoy it, because it's free. If Wingstop wasn't free for me, I would not really get it, because it's pretty expensive here it's like i think like six wings with like small fries is like 17 bucks to me that just feels silly like i'm like why is it so expensive for six wings huh and you only get one flavor which is wild to me like it's so expensive so i'm like huh. oh yeah that's a fun fact of the day Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little mukbang, eat with me, whatever video it was. I know I talked about a whole lot of nothing, but eh, I was just here. So, I hope you enjoyed it and got some entertainment out of it. Um, if you were eating with me, comment down below what you were eating. I would love to know. I love knowing what people are eating. Whenever I see, <laughs> whenever I'm on FaceTime or like on the phone with someone or I see someone and they're eating, I'm like, mm, what are you eating? And like most people like don't answer. They just like ignore me i don't know i think they think it's a rhetorical question but i always ask people like what are you eating and they'll be like oh i'm eating oatmeal i'm like mm, what flavor and they're like oh, apple cinnamon i'm like oh fun i don't know why i give a fuck i just really want to know what people are eating at all times so like if you ate with me what are you eating and was it delicious was it mediocre did you order it like how did that go god my nails are so dirty i'm not used to having long nails so every time I eat now, I have to clean my nail. I mean, I already did that, to be honest, because I hate having things under my nails. Okay, I feel like at this point I'm just rambling and making this video longer than it needs to be. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope I don't have anything in my teeth. If I do, just pretend you don't see it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.